Okay, so as you can see, we're actually home. We're gonna take a break from our travels for a little bit to show you something kind of cool. We've finished a lot of the deck, what we're calling the big back porch, where we're gonna have y'all a lot in coming videos, but we wanted to give you some exciting news. You see, we've decided to add to the family. Not like that. No, we're, we're done. We, 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 we lucked out and got a real good one first off, so we're just gonna keep it like that. Well, we got a real good one of these too. Yeah, yeah, you see this guy right here? This guy, little Octavius, you know? Aki has been our buddy for over seven years now, and we felt like he needed a friend. So, Ta -da. look at that right there. We want to introduce you guys to Mr. Ollivander Cash Goo, the newest addition to the family. Ow. <laughs> As you can see, he likes to chew and nibble on things. We're just real excited because he's an awesome puppy dog, and he is a King Charles Cavalier Spaniel, and we're absolutely in love with him. He's a smart puppy dog, and he loves to play. I taught him how to play tag. Addy taught him how to play tag, and he's already starting to do fetch, and he's only about 12 weeks old, so we think he'll be getting his doctorate by the end of next year. <laughs> um, but he's just a really, really good puppy dog, and we got a really, really healthy dog. He's been checked out. He's fine. He's awesome. The only problem we're having is he's supposed to use that to go potty on. Instead, he uses all of that. So, by the way, those stains are rust stains. Those are, <laughs> that's not him, promise. So even though he may be a smart puppy dog, we're still working with him on some other things too. So it took me a while to get potty trained, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give him too much grief. We just wanna let you know the family is happy. The family is growing. We're happy. How about some cute puppy footage? Hey, cue the puppy footage. Something else we wanted to show you guys, we told you about the deck that uh, I started the project last year. Still got some work I'm doing on it for sure, but it's done enough where we make it a paradise. You see, we've been traveling to all these different destinations and all the national parks and everything, and we've seen so many different paradises. We figure, well, when we're home, we'd still like to have a little bit of a paradise. So I built my wife a little something, and we thought we'd actually show you guys what it looks like. So. We're gonna start off on what we call it, and that is the big back porch, because every redneck wants to have a big back porch, and I figure we got one. So we're gonna start off with the what we call the bottom deck, and it is a 20 by 20 section. Uh, it started off when we bought the house, it was a 10 by 20 section, but it just wasn't deep enough to really do much. So we made it a little wider. <laughs> By the way, did I mention this started off as a project where I was gonna replace two deck boards and then it got bigger and bigger, so. We have a small seating area with a little fire pit and of course a great view of nothing but woods behind us. And over here, this great big wall, uh, it acts as a privacy wall for sure because, well, when I'm half naked, or more in a hot tub i don't necessarily want the neighbors to see but it's also double-sided so it blocks a lot of sound too because we've got traffic that goes by on the other side of the house and it blocks a lot of that sound um, but we got a nice little seating area there for social engagements and things like that especially as it starts to chill in the evenings towards the end of the summer into the fall we got something to keep us warm of course i mentioned a hot tub got a lot of bracing done underneath down here to make sure this holds up We've used it quite a bit. It's very relaxing. I think one of the things I might do is either on this back wall 
or on this great big bear spotter wall if I can figure out how to do it with the rock is we're gonna get like a TV mount and that way we can watch movies from the hot tub or from the seating area over here and then we are moving on to what we call the top deck and the top deck again was another um, 10 by 20 foot section and it comes out of from our kitchen and of course we've got our, our double grills here we got our charcoal grill and our gas grill uh, we do a lot of grilling during the summer for sure uh, mama likes her chicken so we grill a lot of chicken and then of course you got a little seating area if you want to sit here and this was Chris's office to begin with when she was working outside a lot we would put her here and it was close to the Wi-Fi but the problem was is it gets really really sunny back here and also there's a big breeze that blows through that valley back there and it well it blows the umbrella around so half her time that she was working she was trying to wrangle an umbrella so we fixed that I'll show you that here in a minute this is just coming out of our kitchen there and we got a little storage unit for cushions and stuff like that but then we come to the new section that was not a part of the original deck and we call that the plank because well it's a long wooden plank it is 15 by 40 feet long and I just put that up last week. That is our little gazebo area with a nice little uh, like meeting table um, and it's shaded. And I put some Edison lights, hung some Edison lights underneath. I'd show you now, but you really couldn't see them because it's bright out here. Uh, but it gets really bright at night. So now Chris has got a place to work under an awning. So she's got shade. I haven't sat under this during the rain yet, but I want to. But what I'm trying to do is to make it where Chris can actually work 24 seven and you know, of course we got some pretty ferns and stuff to make it pretty and of course you got Addy lounging with Mr. Ollivander down there I think Ollie likes it outside I know Octavius does he's he runs around this deck constantly and the cat Skitty of course he's inside now because he's camera shy but he loves it out here in fact he loves it so much that Chris planted him his own cat grass that he can kind of chew on and then we come down to the other end of the plank you get through the jungle over here and of course we've got this is an original swing that we've had um, since we bought the house but we decided to keep it it's more seating area for people as we have people come over and then you got a little table and a nice little umbrella there to keep people shaded and then Chris just had to have a place to you know relax and nap and read books so we got her a couple hammocks and she's all about the ferns too so we didn't want to do this all fern nothing so we got a nice little backyard paradise back Let's here. Let's be honest, I'm about the ferns because I can keep the ferns alive. <laughs> I give her a lot of grief over her plant killing techniques. She's good at it. So we found out that ferns are very, very resilient. So even maybe we could possibly not kill them. Um, and then we got a 40 foot privacy wall here. Uh, it's double sided as well, double picketed. That way it blocks the sound. In fact, here goes a car going by right about now. Now, you could barely hear that before it would sound like the D500 going through here. Um, semis, you could still hear them, but not near as much because it blocks out all the sound. Uh, we've got the air conditioner unit over here, the central air, and that's the big reason I wanted to put the wall up is because that thing is loud and that, that wall really, really blocks the sound out too. So it's pretty quiet back here except for all the birds, which is awesome. And with that patch of woods right there, that privacy fence, that small privacy fence over there, and the fact that all that grows up between us and the neighbors, we have 360 degrees of pure privacy. And expect to see a lot more footage coming from back here as we go on through the summer. Uh, expect some more lives. For all y'all who enjoyed the music that we did, uh, I wanted a place where I could play music and so i build it i'm hoping to do some more lives like we used to do a while back with the weekend wind downs or work week wind downs remember those and for all y'all who are interested in when we do the back porch concerts the, i think that's what we're going to call it is a concert from the big back porch something like that big back porch concerts um where we'll go live um, when we do that on facebook if you guys like that what i need you to do is go to my music page on facebook which is simply mikey good music there's the address right there over on Facebook and give it a like give it a follow and I'll keep you guys updated whenever we do a big back porch concert back here and we're all gonna have a big party back here on the big back porch so 
Signing off is me, Miss Chris, Miss Ad, and Ollivander. He's down there. Octavius is inside in the shade. Yeah, it and gets a little warm out here. Skitty is too. Skitty comes out at night. Yeah, Skitty Skitty's not much for all the traffic around here. He likes it when he can have this thing to himself. So, yes. if you like what you're seeing here, whether it's the big back porch, whether it's the cute little puppy, the adorable bearded man, or his gorgeous lady, or maybe even that awesome kid, give us a like down below. Also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, click the subscribe button down below and you're automatically a member of the Croc Posse and you'll see more content like this. And if you want to know as soon as we put up a new video, click the little bell that we call the... Dingling. You click the dingling and it lets you know that we put up a new video as soon as we put it up. And most importantly, y'all, whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. Speak life. Bye, y'all. Bye. Say bye. Bye. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny,